Hi everyone, this is Achal Soni. Welcome back to my channel. If you have been liking my videos, then do subscribe my channel and show your support. This video is in continuation to my uh, previous video on pop-up parameter, which means uh, how you can show hide your parameters. Uh, I'm just giving you an example of uh, the dashboard which I created in my earlier video. So when you select custom date, you get two new parameters which remain hidden for the rest of the options in your main parameter. So I've been getting a lot of requests uh, to do a video on how we can do this in vertical segment so this setting is horizontal right now i'm going to show you how you can do achieve the same thing in the horizontal container so let's get started uh, i'll just give you a glimpse of what are we going to achieve in this video so this is uh, our vertical segment where we have created the show height functionality so see if i select custom date then start and end date appear while they were hidden for the rest other options so uh, let's uh, create a new dashboard i'm reducing the height okay now let's pull in our line chart um, okay this is floating right now we need tiled all right so uh, now the concept related to pop-up uh, uh, parameter is uh, how you uh, you know interestingly uh, align your containers uh, so let's understand how you do that uh, we'll pull in first uh, a vertical container let's put it this side all right now we want our main parameter to take the entire space okay now in the rest space we want another vertical container which will comprise the start date end date and a collapsing sheet i will uh, tell you the functionality as we progress uh, so let's pull in another vertical container which should uh, be placed beneath our main parameter now let's uh, pull in start date end date and our collapsing sheet so collapsing sheet should uh, should be placed before our start date like it should be the uh, first uh, item in your second vertical container So now you can see we have three items in our second vertical container, uh, the collapsing sheet, start date and end date. Uh, so the objective of creating a collapsing sheet is uh, it will enable the show height functionality of these two uh, parameters. So let's select custom date and you can see the collapsing sheet has reduced in size. Uh, so this is what we wanted because we wanted to pull up the start date and end date and when we select any other option in that case we uh, want the sheet to expand so this is the functionality now if you want to understand what filters have been applied on this one then i'm dropping the uh, link of my previous video which comprises the horizontal container functionality just go through that video everything related to the sheets remains same just uh, i'm telling you how you can achieve the vertical container functionality in dashboard so uh now uh, we need a blank sheet to cover the start date and end date uh, in my previous video i had created a blank sheet specifically but but this time i would be using a blank uh, container from my dashboard itself uh, and just remember that we need to keep it floating uh, all right and another important thing with this blank container is that you need to uh, color this uh, with white color or whatever is the background of your dashboard so that uh, it is able to cover up these 
parameters. So I'm color coloring it in white, and now you can see I'm hiding this. Okay, now let's reduce the size of this vertical container a little bit. All right, now let's select custom date. Okay, we are good to go. Uh, these two are appearing. Let me select last 15 days. These two are hidden. Uh, just reduce this size of blank sheet so that it doesn't cover the other elements of your dashboard. Uh, be specific with the formatting because uh, ultimately the user experience brings you the points. So just work on that. That's all for this video. Thank you.